just the, the, the quality of the people that you meet in the, in the agricultural business. Just patriotic, you know, hardworking, uh, God-fearing uh, folks who are pretty independent and self-reliant. Uh, reliant. I just met a lot of great folks in this business. Readers across North America grew to know Joe Roybal and look forward to his commentary and insightful articles. That mutual respect may have never been if not for a meeting with another ag journalist in an unlikely place. I had a friend of mine who introduced me to a local bartender whose name was Greg Lamp. And uh, Greg had worked in uh, Minneapolis uh, for the Miller Publishing Company and also in Des Moines for successful farming. And uh, my friend thought that perhaps he could give me some tips on job searches. That connection led to both a lifelong friendship and editorial positions with dairy herd management and feedlot management publications. Then Joe heard about an opening with Beef Magazine. So I applied for that job, and luckily for me, editor Paul Andre liked to hire from the competition, and I was right across town. Uh, that was the fortunate part. Unfortunately, uh, he offered the job to someone else, Greg Henderson, and fortunately for me, uh, Greg turned the job down, and uh, so I've been indebted to him ever since. Joe credits the beef checkoff and a dedicated beef community for the positive direction it's headed in today. I think the prognosis is very good for the beef industry right now. When I first joined the uh, writing about the industry 30 to 35 years ago, uh, the industry overall I think was in a pretty bad place. Uh, th there was a, it had a lot of problems with uh, the public perception of beef as part of a healthy diet, as well as the uh, effect of beef production on the uh, on the environment. The industry did a, a great job in trying to address those, and uh, they were able to uh, through uh, w work on the genetics and uh, and the feeding and and uh, the promotion and advertising and research, were able to halt a 20-year slide in beef consumption. All the while, the digital revolution dramatically transformed agriculture journalism where just oodles of information are available and uh, it really has, and, and in so many forms, and the focus really has gone from what used to be a monthly publication and all of our uh, our schedules during the work week were geared towards that monthly publication to where now it's, uh, you've got daily deadlines or and even hour, hourly deadlines because of the internet. So that would be a big one. At the same time, the science of genomics has allowed cattle breeders to make rapid genetic change. I think the, 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 uh, the industry has been able to make real good gains in efficiency uh, in, uh, and in the end product quality as a result. While the beef business was improving, Joe was too. First getting involved in LPC in 1985, he could be channeling some of his mentors, Paul Andre, Bill Fleming, Ward Kester, when he says, If you can attend, the meetings are just invaluable and they'll really pay a lot of dividends all the way through your career, plus uh, making a lot of great friends. Uh, the other thing is that I, I think is, as a young person starting out, probably just remain curious and open to learning. Beautiful ranch scenery, meeting the best of the best, and making friends along the way. Joe sums it up in a statement. I was blessed to uh, to uh, be involved in a, in a fun, a challenging, fulfilling job that allowed me to, uh, to do something of service, uh, which I, I, in what I consider to be the most important industry in the world, which is food production. And the beef business has been equally blessed by Joe's time and talents.